Well, when I was a kid, my father and I used to sit in the car because you couldn't get radio reception in the house and listen to the Grand Ole Opry. And he would tell me about nudie and about nudie suits. And they say that when you get old, you collect the things that you liked as a kid. And from there, I started a collection of nudie suits. Most people don't know who Nudie was, but the, generally the first question is people look around in amazement and go, what is this? They're really iconic. I mean, even if you don't know what they are, you've probably seen them from, you know, concert footage or, you know, photographs. They really are a unique piece of, of, of history in the country music world. Nudie Cohen was a tailor in Hollywood and from the books I've read about him, he started out making outfits for men's clubs for strippers. <laughs> and a country artist, Porter Wagner, people like that that were in the California area, got him to start making suits for him. And that's where it all grew from. He actually did uh, Elvis's Gold Lame suit from Skull Shulman. Well, Hank Snow, Bill Anderson have a Ray Price. Uh, one of the more famous ones from the rock eras is Graham Parsons, where he had marijuana leaves and everything else on it. That seems to be the one most people know. But uh, anybody that's graced the stage of the Grand Ole Opry, Little Jimmy Dickens, uh, all of those folks, they would have had a nudie of some sort. The first time we walked through the doors for the festival this year, um, Brian Hembree, one of the co-founders of the festival, said, well, first priority, you need to pick out a nudie suit to wear for any of your performances. Brian came to me and asked, because they have their new Roots headquarters over here, if he might borrow a nudie suit and do a display at the headquarters. And then on top of that, why don't you find somebody to wear one on stage so we can see the suits back where they belong, which is with somebody wearing them playing music. They range from um, suits that were worn by huge stars. I don't know that there's any Hank Williams, but there is a Clarence White suit. And uh, I gravitated toward that one. It has fringe and these beautiful kind of sterling buttons on it. And got to wear it for a performance on the main stage. It was really quite a pleasure. What I'm looking for is bright colors, you want the deep embroidery, you want lots of rhinestones, and then all nudie suits have a theme to them, like this Hank Snow suit with all the roses and then the pants that go with it. And so we're looking for some of the wow factor that nudie did. There'll be some of them, you'll see the shirts that, you know, they're stained because they've been worn on stage by guys that are sweating. I mean, they're old, we want to keep them old. You can't help but feel like, okay, man, I'm really in it. I'm sort of like looking this part if you're, you're singing like a classic country song, a Hank Williams song or something like that, you definitely feel a, a kind of spirit in it and it's, um, it's heavy and it's cool. There's always room for more good country clothes.